nice to talk to you. Uh, thanks for being here. That's it. Oh, Does anybody here have a car besides Robin? Who here has a car? Yeah. Yeah, we need to take this over to Frank's office. And, and it's too far for me to walk. It's like several blocks away. No one here has a car? I won't get over. I do, but I can't see. Can you send that? What am I doing? No, it's uh, live stream. What? You do have a car? Um, hi, I'm James. Uh, also known as J Boy throughout the uh, movement. And um, I'm here because I want to do what I can to help change the uh, pharmaceutical industry to make medication more affordable for people who need it, uh, especially people living with HIV and AIDS. And I'm also down here because. Um, you know, I'm trying to effect change with the homeless situation where there's, you know, in this city alone, 33,000 vacant, vacant houses and 11,000 homeless, you know, homeless people that are known for, that are, that are known. So, yeah. Hey, I'm Rachel. I'm still holding out hope for a global revolution because I think it's either uh, that or destruction, so... I'm thinking positive. <coughs> test, test. Uh, my name's Ethan, and I'm here because uh, I can't seem to stay away, and it gives my life a sense of meaning. Someone told me you're Clark from Holsey. Yeah. Do you remember me from Holsey? Yeah. My name's no, Derek, like and yeah. today I am practicing photography and um, speaking. <laughs> I'm Raul, and when people come up with words, I don't know, I'm like, what the hell was that? <laughs> I'm the same way with words such as uh, democracy, uh, fascism, look at these things up, they're very important, corporate, anarchy. Uh, liaison. <laughs> Gage from Occupy Human Rights. January 11th, we have an event with Amnesty International, hoping a whole bunch of other people, the federal billing. My name is Robert. I'm here to support Occupy SF in any way that I can. Thank you all for being here. My name is uh, Ben, and I'm here because uh, I think medieval Europe was very creepy, and I think that we're slipping. We've slipped into it, and I want to unslip out of medieval Europe. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Fred. I'm Ben here doing what I can from the beginning, but definitely want to keep involved now and not just fall prey to this police state activity that's rolling out to, yeah, of course, the order in the city that they've always enforced, but they've come out so brave and they have a picture of it, and they run away. Oh, okay. Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm here because I actually believe in that we the people stuff at the beginning of the Constitution and think it actually means something, and I'm here to help occupy our right hand. Can you pass it right behind you to Adam? Thank you. Hi, my name is Adam, and I'm here, I guess, for the same reason. An accumulation of everything everybody said, I'm here for the same reason. Hi, my name is Rowan. I just got back from a vacation from Occupy. I'm stoked to be back and I'm healthy again. Yeah, it's cool. It's building a little collection. Hi, my name is David. I'm here to keep an eye on Derek. <laughs> also, um, let me just say 
one word, no more. Uh, at least in the medieval time, people had access to land to graze a pig or raise a garden, and starvation was rare. I wish that could be said of our society. Do the people back there in the fringe want to come in to the circle and, and introduce themselves and kind of join the process here? My name is Dee. I'm here so that my family and my little brothers and sisters can have a decent education without being in massive amounts of debt. My name is Stephen Bell, and I'm here because the time is now. Hi, my name's Clark, and uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Everybody knows me pretty much. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm here from Occupy Toronto for the next 60 days or something like that. Um, and I'm actually writing a big paper about decommodified food. So if anyone worked on the food team while you guys actually had a camp, yeah, it would be really awesome. That's an announcement. We'll get to an announcement. Okay. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bob, and I'm here to help with uh, Occupy's intent to overturn Citizens United and the Speech Equals Money Supreme Court decisions. Hi, my name is Monique, and I've been waiting for something like this for about 30 or 40 years, and I'm here because I believe in a society that's based on human needs and and the, and the value of life and not just profit and I don't, really don't like to see the way things are going now Hi, I'm Chris and I'm here because I believe in people supporting people I'm Susan I'm to tell and I'm here because the Constitution has been trampled on you. I'm Mike and uh, I'm here because I want to have a better society and a better economy. It doesn't treat people like they're uh, not valuable and I think that we can create that together. Is there anyone else who wants to uh, introduce themselves? Hey, I'm Jeff, and I'm here because I believe in egalitarianism and that everyone should be created equally. All right, last call. Anyone else? So I'm going to turn this over so that we can go over the hand signals, and Ricardo is going to take care of that. So uh, here we go. All right. So um, when you hear something you like, what do you do? First of all, is there anybody here who hasn't been to GA before? Is this is this your first GA? Anybody? My first GA here. Okay, but everybody here has been to GA before, right? Alright, cool. So we already know the hand signals then. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, okay. Spare fingers when you like something, you don't like something. Um, when you have a concern and they ask for concerns, you just raise your hand, you get put on stack. When you have a clarifying question, you're not sure what you heard and you want to ask a clarifying question, like what time is the thing, or I don't understand what you said, give this sign right here. When you have a point of information, you do that side right there. Sometimes you'll see someone do this, which means please wrap it up. Um, oppressive language is like this. Speak up. One, two, three. Okay. Speak up. Speak up. And point of process. So that means uh, the GA is off the, the tracks. You're not following process. And you know the process, so you're going to tell us all so we can follow the right process. 
Uh, I think there's one more that we forgot. Oh yeah. Um, blocking something like this. That's blocking something. That's a really serious uh, thing. It means that you would be willing to walk away because there's no way that your concerns could be met. And you'd be willing to walk away from this whole uh, collective of people who are trying to work together. Um, because what they're doing is just so completely ethically and morally offensive to you. Otherwise, we work out our concerns um, because we're here to work together to come to consensus. All right, I think that's it. How do you do upvotes and concerns? Okay, the facilitator asks for concerns, and you raise your hand, you get put on stack. Any other questions about the process of General Assembly? Stand aside. Right. One, two, three. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me now? Yes. Alright. Okay, let's let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get to know each other. Okay. Let's start with So uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. right here, the uh, Gratitude Committee is going to be meeting. It's going to be one of the first meetings that we're having to talk about how we can create a system of uh, giving appreciation and gratitude to people in our community for what they do and for being here. So uh, just hope people can come and can talk about all that with us tomorrow. Thank you. Ryan's next. And then I'll give my back to you. Uh, I have uh, two announcements of uh, staff on the news for Occupy. Um, can you all hear me? Okay. All right. Uh, first one. Um, sure. As uh, most of you are all aware by now, uh, yesterday Global Revolution was raided by the NYPD. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. The. Okay. Hold it up. Okay. Not better. Uh, okay, I'll talk louder. Um, the uh, specific cause cited by the New York Police Department was the Global Revolution's occupation of the office space, which they were renting, was imminently perilous to life. Wow. Exact words. Um, Second one, this one's a bit more good news. Um, today, the first news came out of an occupation forming in Nigeria, protesting the government's uh, clearly corporate favoring policies and absolute lack of action against the oil companies who have done pretty much everything from destroy the local environment to shoot union organizers and everything in between. So, yeah, that's all I have. Hi, I'm just going to make an announcement for Oakland. Um, they've been uh, the victims of almost daily raids by the police in the last two weeks. Seven have been arrested and detained for days. Right now, eight people are in Dublin being detained. Um, the charges maybe eventually drop like they were in the past, but um, I only want to say this is not law enforcement. This is police terrorizing, again, 
our nonviolent protesters. They've taken away our tents, they've taken away our umbrellas, they've taken away our loved ones now. And I'm only bringing this up right now because they're asking for support tonight at the plaza. They're trying to get into City Hall to occupy. They need people. Um, if you want to do anything and not go down there because you don't want to be risked, um, you don't want to be arrested. I have phone numbers for people you can call, like Mayor Kwan and, the, and Alameda County, that you can um, demand that they be let out. Um, so they've been snatching them off the street last night, and tonight, again, they've snatched two more people today right off of 14th and Broadway Bar Station. These people have no nothing. They've done nothing, and they no information has been let out yet about these people. But I just wanted to bring Occupy us up attention that people are getting snatched right and left in Oakland and bodies need to be there. People need to be there to show your support because, yeah. <laughs> Fuck OPD. <laughs> I know they are. No, they're brand new, actually. Um, I just want to remind everybody about the January 21st Occupy event. It's going to start at Sue Beerman Park. It's going to go up to the financial district and look at all the buildings that house the corporations that have dumped millions of dollars into our elections to try to buy our elections and essentially wipe out democracy, what little we have of it left. So January 21st, I have flyers, I'll pass them around. Uh, January 21st, uh, Flash, Mom, Dance, Occupy San Francisco. Happening right here on the Embarcadero before the match. January 21st. If you are January 21st, if you are interested, go to the Flash Mob Dance at San Francisco website and you know get together. Are there any more announcements? Okay. Um, Diamond Dave is hosting a meeting to organize housing and food for the January 20th actions. Uh, for the whole weekend. That's at 2.30 p.m. at Mutiny Radio tomorrow, on Friday. Um, on Saturday, at 11 a.m. at the Ice Rink, we'll have a meetup, a meeting for the gardening working group. Um, we're going to be filling out the form so that we can get our web working group on the website. And then at um, 4 p.m. at the Ice Rink, we're going to be having a meeting after General Assembly to help um, coordinate autonomous actions, uh, help affinity groups pull together for January 20th actions. So that's it for now. What time do you say the That's 11 a.m. at the uh, ice rink. That's Saturday. Okay. Yeah. So I received a report of a at least three persons who were looking for housing. Um, one person who um, had sickness and illness so bad that uh, he had to find a way to the hospital, I believe. Um, there's an individual, there are individuals here that are looking for shelter. And so I called for a meeting tomorrow at 5 p.m. at 101 Market in the location. Um, I sent this out on an email the other night. So tomorrow meeting, safe house meeting, for both sides, for all sides, 5 p.m. You don't have to, you can be, you're loud enough to use that. Feel free to use whatever you want. Yeah, Adora's out of town for live stream, so there you can either contact me or Ben, if you know who Ben is, <laughs> contact me if you have any questions or if you want to help out with the live streaming uh, as Punk Boy here is assisting with. Thank you. Is there a meeting coming up? Uh, we're trying to arrange a meeting for the live streamers and stuff like that. It's kind of still, you know, in the works. Uh, I'm assuming everybody knows about January 20th shut down the financial district, but if you don't, got flyers, come to your friends. <laughs> Anyone else with an announcement?
Well, I don't know the full details, but I believe it's, I believe it's yeah. Monday, January 9th in Sacramento. There's going to be the Student Success Task Force, which, which is going to uh, ma make big changes in access to community colleges, you know, and to make it so older people can't go and people have to finish in two years and all kinds of restrictions. Where, I think Stack is there. It's Sacramento there. on Monday. I'm uh, not sure exactly. No. I have some Amtrak tickets to Sack too. Okay. If anybody wants to work. Can you just speak into it? Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, um, I'm not sure if this has been announced at a previous General Assembly, but um, Occupy Oakland is planning a building occupation on uh, January 28th. Um, that, uh, as far as specific details on the building, I do not know which one has been picked yet, but under discussion are um, any, pr pretty much any abandoned like business building or government building is an act of protest. So I will bring more info as I find it, unless someone else here already knows more about it. I know a little bit more. Awesome. Uh, Even better. <laughs> the building site itself has been chosen. It's an unused corporate owned building, but the specific location is not being disclosed so the police cannot preempt us. Right. On the day of the march, there will be separate, multiple marches to confuse the police as to where we're going. <laughs> but if you come to Oscar Grand Plaza the day of, you can definitely be a part of it. Raul, what day was that? 28th. Week after the 29th. Uh, the cover of the Bay Area Reporter today, I, I, I have brought it, but I don't know what happened to it. That Ed Lee settles in for his full term. I thought that was pretty cool. Yay! I have an announcement. Clark. I, I have a whole stack here. Okay, it's just other people for me, go ahead. Uh, Raul. Raul just went. Okay, Mike is next. Fire Mike. Fire Mike. Yes. <laughs> Hi guys, we're still uh, accepting submissions for the commemorative medallion. <coughs> I wanted to remind you guys about that. And so you can, you can put those submissions on the Occupy SF forums or just hand me drawings on napkins if you like. Okay. Thank Bill. you. Bill. Okay, I wanted to uh, I wanted to let everybody know about the meeting tomorrow at six o'clock here at 101 Market for the legal committee. Um, and um, if you're interested in that or any information, it would help us establish uh, some options for the legal uh, our legal approach going forward. Please be there if you can't be there tomorrow. Uh, see me. Uh, tonight, uh, and specifically, what we want to try to glean is information about what laws are being, um, what laws are they, are we being accused of by the police department uh, when we congregate here? The issue of the First Amendment uh, rights, we feel in general. They are bridging and they are oppressing. And so uh, one of the things that we are going to have to try and do is document uh, the information uh, as closely as we can. So the days, the times, the badge numbers, and most particularly the municipal codes, state codes, um, or um, ordinances being uh, being used by the police. If you can make a note of that yes. when this happens and get them to me or get them here somehow, I'm at most GAs, uh, that would be very helpful. Or if you can refer the people that you know have been arrested under these codes, that would be even better. And thank you. Chris. Chris, point of information. It's our announcements, remember. I, I was just, just talking to um, I, I just want to say that I have a list of, of all the things that we've been cited under, so. <laughs> Can you come? Can you come on tomorrow at 6? Yeah, I was planning on being there. I was one of the first person people asked. Okay, uh, Clark is next. Clark, here Hi. you are. Just talk into it, you don't need to push anybody. I'd um, just like to remind everybody that uh, Mayor Ed Lee is going to be inaugurated this Sunday at City Hall. Um, I'm going to try and show up. Uh, 
just to see what's going on. If anybody's interested in doing a mic check no. on him that day, uh, to show up at City Hall on Sunday, um, I believe it starts at 12 o'clock. Thank you. So do we have any lawyers that could any challenge his election? Because it was no. definitely fraudulent. All right. <laughs> I wished. What's he doing on Sunday? He's getting inaugurated. Uh, where's the event? City Hall. Uh, yeah. This is an announcement for Last Saturday, there wasn't a GA. I came here and I was told, oh, there's a Grateful Dead concert in, city, in uh, Civic Center. That's where everybody went. Please, please use the calendar if you're going to cancel anything. Thank you. We're going to take a short break here. Okay. Thank you for watching.